Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nick. I make videos about fashion, building your personal style and I guess everything else in between. It's been a while. Sorry I haven't posted anything in a number of weeks. I think it's almost five weeks, but unfortunately I finally got COVID. I mean, it was bound to happen anyway. I won't go into it too much. I'm sure a lot of you have already been through it, but I managed to dodge it for two and a half years, so I'm kind of proud of that. But it finally got me, I guess, the recovery has just taken a little bit longer than what I would have liked. So that's where I've been. Now, the good thing is, is that I'm kind of almost back to normal and, you know, moving forward for the next week, I will be doing regular content again. So yay. So today I'm just doing a quick video. I thought I'd just quickly update you on, I guess, my absence and run you through a few things that I recently purchased. I guess wrap up the video. Anyway, so let's jump into it. The first thing that I wanted to share with you is a new vintage band tee. It's this Alice in Chains vintage band tee. I bought this on Brain Fog. What did I buy this on? Depop? One of my girlfriends actually found it and messaged me saying, oh my gosh, buy it because these usually go for ridiculous money usually like 500 USD and I picked this up for like it was like $70 something crazy so I jumped on it straight away what I'm not going to do today just to reduce the size of the video is I'm just going to show you what I purchased but in the coming weeks I'll feature these things in some videos so that you can actually see them on we all know I love a good Alice in Chains band tee so this is a lovely one for my collection in other news actually I have lost my my favourite band tee, my facelift um, to a band tee, which is very, very sad. So I don't know where it's gone, but it's just disappeared off the face of the earth and I can't find it anywhere. I've checked high and low and it's gone. And it's quite sad because we all know how much I love that tee, especially if you've watched any of my previous videos, we all know. All right, so I guess this is a nice replacement for that one. Okay, the second thing I bought is this awesome black fur bomber coat now here we go i'll pop this on just quickly show you how it looks while we're chatting it's this bomber jacket now this i bought for an absolute steal from a shop called alley fashion if you've seen any of my videos before you know that i am a lover of that store i think 80% of the stuff in there is not for you, but every now and then you can find something really good. I buy a lot of denim from there. I, and this jacket is so warm. I bought it right at the beginning of winter when it was we had that terrible freezing cold snap here in Sydney. And I'll be honest with you, this is the best jacket I've ever bought. I, it was like something stupid, like 60 bucks. And I have got my wear out of it. It's really warm, in, insulated, quite cozy for when it's super cold. You can like, <laughs> Yeah, put on you. You can zip it right up like that to cover your chest in the freezing cold. And it also has pockets. And women love pockets. So that was an absolute steal banger of a buy. All right. Now, the next thing I bought was a bunch of tops. This top I'm actually wearing it, from Zara. I think it's just a standard, plain black v-neck top I think they're like $15 I bought probably four of them because I needed some more in rotation so that's another thing that I've purchased recently now I'll go into shoes now this pair of shoes that I'm about to show you I actually haven't worn I've wanted a pair for a while but I purchased them and then left them under my desk at work for I think it was like a month and a half then obviously got COVID so I bought them back in May and it's now July and I still haven't worn them. Like I've wanted them forever, but I just haven't made them work, which is quite sad. So it's kind of a regret and it's too late to take them back. It's this pair of over the knee suede stretch boot from Tony Bianco. I mean, they fit really well and I'll style them in a video in weeks to come so you can see them. I just wish I'd reach for them. I just haven't. I think it's just because this winter started off so cold. Usually this type of thing I'd wear with a dress, but it has not been dress weather for two months. And 
yeah look let's just see how spring holds out i think hopefully in spring i'll get some wear out of them because i don't like spending that kind of money on shoes and then not wearing them that was the box by the way okay so the last thing i got is this pair of western ankle boots love these these have been possibly the best purchase shoe wise i've made since the bell and bloom boots that i bought last year the ones that have the snake skin print they're leather but higher still the same type of vibe the difference is these ones are a little bit more classic and plain with a shorter heel I have gotten so much wear out of these. These are by far my favorite shoes to date. No issues with blisters, super soft leather, really good heel height. So you can actually kind of run around in them, which is fantastic. These I bought from the Iconic. They're a brand called EOS. I think they're about $250. I put everything in the, in the description below. I was almost going to buy the Chloe Susanna boots again, which if you know the Chloe Susanna, uh, Susanna boots, they are like, $1,800. I used to have a pair. I've featured them on this channel before, but I sold them. I think I was thinking about buying them again, but this is practically the same style. It's the same height around the ankle. The only difference is obviously there's no studs and there's gussets as opposed to, I think the Susanna boot has a zip. Now I don't need to buy them because I actually prefer these ones because they're just a lot plainer. So you can wear them with a lot more. So these I will keep an eye out on the iconic to see if they've reduced them to clear at any point because i will probably purchase another pair just so that i have a pair forever i know i sound crazy when i do all these like double purchasing of things but i had a pair of boots very similar to this as a gift for my birthday and i wore them into the ground and i loved those boots so so much they're very very similar to this and when I ended up parting ways with them, I resold them. I don't know how many times I spent probably just as much on keeping the boots in a wearable state than what the boots actually cost. So when I threw them out, there was a gaping hole in my wardrobe. Anyway, so I'm really happy with those boots. They are a fantastic buy. Really, really happy and really glad that I found something to replace the Susanna boots. Well, and also the boots that I bought years ago that I loved and ended up wearing over and over and over again and spending more money repairing and ended up throwing them out. So it's really good to have them. Okay, so I think that's it for things that I've purchased. Like I said, everything will be down in the description below. In coming videos, I will style these things up so that you can see them. So make sure that you subscribe to see any of these things if you're interested in viewing them in the future. Just thinking is there anything else that i want to update you on there is okay so something i'm working on at the moment is i've created some style guides so these are downloadable guides that i will be launching in the near future probably within the next month and it's all to do about your personal style creating capsules what you the items that you need in your wardrobe so you actually have a checklist and also how to declutter your wardrobe so that you are maximizing the items that you have and identifying what you need. These will be available for purchase in the coming months, just like I said. I'm also working on some other lifestyle ones as well, and I'll launch them soon and let you know what they are too. Not related to fashion, but more related to life. So that's exciting. Also, my ring hasn't turned up, so it's gone. <laughs> my, my beautiful Cartier ring is gone. I didn't expect to get it back if I'm going to be completely honest with you, but what I do want some feedback on, so let me know in the comments below. I've been thinking because I've got like one arm that's got some jewelry on it and another arm that's empty now that the ring was gone. Want to know your thoughts. I was thinking about just buying just a small, simple gold ring from like Majuri or some like little boutique style shop to just as a filler until I purchase another one from like either Cartier or Tiffany. I'm thinking about the Tiffany knot ring. I'll put a, excuse my old looking hand up there. I really like the Tiffany knot ring. I prefer that to purchasing the Cartier ring again. I really don't want to buy that again. It just makes me, no, 
I don't want to buy it again. It's too expensive now. Like I wouldn't buy it again. Or should I just save my money? Don't buy either, either or, and just save it for my next bracelet, which I'm going to be purchasing hopefully soon. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, yes. Crypto. I've mentioned crypto before on my channel. Let me know if you want me to make non-financial advice videos on cryptocurrency. Thinking about it, don't know if I should, but I'll be honest with you, it is kind of like my means to afford all of these things, especially all the luxury items that I buy. Obviously super passionate about it and obviously because I've managed to purchase a lot of things with my crypto funds, profits, sorry. I thought that maybe I might share some insights. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Obviously not financial advice. Anyway, I think that's it for me today. Let me know in the comments below everything that I asked you. And if you're new here and you like the vibe of the channel, consider subscribing. Also, thank you to all my new subscribers. I can't believe that I didn't post anything for so long and yet I've got new subscribers. It's amazing. So thank you for joining the journey. Just love having you here. All right, I'll see you again next time. Bye.